So when you're building out a real estate financial model, you'll need to make some assumptions about what you're actually going to sell the property for when you decide that you want to sell the deal. But how do you actually make an educated assumption about what you will actually sell a property for five, seven, or 10 years down the road from now? Well, to do that, you're going to set an exit cap rate or a cap rate that you think the next buyer is going to use. So if you're underwriting real estate deals, but not sure how to set your exit cap rate, definitely stick around because that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. For first dibs on all new real estate financial modeling and career training videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So when creating cash flow projections for a real estate investment, ultimately at the end of that investment, you need to make an assumption on what you're going to sell the property for at the end of your hold period. Now to do that, what many investors do is use what's called an exit cap rate approach. And the exit cap rate approach essentially takes the net operating income for the year after you sell the property and divides that by a cap rate that you assume the next buyer is going to assign to that real estate investment. Now, as a quick refresher on what a cap rate actually is, the cap rate is just the net operating income divided by the purchase price of the property, or in this case, the purchase price of the property for that next buyer, so your sale price in your analysis. So for example, say you bought a property for $2 million and your net operating income for that first year was $100,000. So in that case, the property that you bought was exactly a 5% cap rate. Now, because this was the cap rate when you first bought the property, this is called the going in cap rate. So you're going into the investment and the going in cap rate represents that. Now, within that same analysis, we're trying to figure out what our exit cap rate is. So what we assume that cap rate will be for the next buyer when we go to sell the deal. So in our case of the $2 million property with a $100,000 per year net operating income at that 5% cap rate, we need to make an assumption on what that cap rate of 5% is going to be when we actually sell the property. So for example, let's say we sell the property in 10 years. So we sell the property at the end of 10 years and our net operating income at that time has increased to say $140,000. So it increased from $100,000 to $140,000 over a 10 year period. Now the exit cap rate would determine the value. So if we said this was now going to sell at a 5.5% cap rate, that same property would now sell for a little over $2.5 million. So the hardest part of this is really figuring out what that exit cap rate should be. So should it be five and a half percent? Should it be 6%? Should it be four and a half percent? How do we set that? Well, a basic rule of thumb that many institutional and professional real estate investors use is what's called an annual cap rate expansion. And what that means is essentially in your analysis, you're going to assume some sort of cap rate increase every single year until you go to sell the property. Now, the rule of thumb for many real estate investors today is about 0.1% or 10 basis points per year. So if you buy a property at a 5.0% cap rate in 2019, but then you go to sell that property at the end of 2029, you would assume that you sell that property at a 6.0% cap rate. Now, why would a cap rate increase, especially when you've added value to the property? Maybe you've done some renovations or leased up the property and added value to the deal. Well, the reason why is because cap rates generally track with interest rates. And today in the US specifically, we're seeing historically low interest rates and real estate investors are assuming that at some point, within the next five, seven, or 10 years, interest rates are going to rise. And as a result, real estate cap rates are going to rise as well. Now, this is a conservative assumption, but it is widely used in the industry. And I would definitely recommend some sort of cap rate expansion as you're underwriting your real estate deals. Now, if you're operating a real estate investment company and you wanna spend a little bit of money in order to get the best data out there, you can actually get historical cap rates for specific markets through a company called Real Capital Analytics. And I'll link that in the description below, but essentially what Real Capital Analytics allows you to do is to see historical cap rates over time for a specific market. So if you're looking at multifamily properties in Portland and you wanna put a little bit more data behind your exit cap rate assumption, what you can do is go to Real Capital Analytics, see what the trend has been for cap rates for multifamily properties in Portland over time, 
and make your assumption based on that. But again, that's a paid resource. So if you're a professional investor, that could be a great route. Otherwise, I'd recommend using the exit cap rate expansion approach. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can set an exit cap rate in your real estate financial modeling. Now, if you wanna learn more about how real estate financial models are built from scratch, I definitely recommend checking out my real estate financial modeling crash course. You can grab that for free in the link in the description below. And if you wanna go any deeper into any of this, I'll also link to all of my courses. I have 16 courses right now on real estate financial modeling, deal analysis, and how to advance your career in the real estate investment field. So definitely check those out if you wanna go deeper into any of this content. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.